Thank you, Professor McNamara, and thank you, uh, the Honourable Shaket Musselmane, Chair of the Multicultural Media Awards, both of you for your very warm welcome. It's wonderful to be here also with other colleagues from the University of Technology, Sydney, uh, Professor Andrew Yakovovich and Miss Vicky Bamford. I look around so many distinguished guests and friends and most especially you, Auntie Joan, born in Narandra. I was born 63 miles down the river from there, also in Wiradjuri country. So it's a privilege to be able to give thanks to and recognise the traditional custodians of this land upon which we gather. Indeed, for all Australians, Indigenous people who've nurtured our great continent, we increasingly appreciate for tens of thousands of years. Well, it's a very great pleasure to join you for the opening of this significant conference, Multimedia at a Crossroads, and certainly, I believe, a conference of significance to all Australians, not just those who are working uh, so assiduously with dedication in the Australian media. And certainly, there can be no doubt that Australians take justifiable pride in the richness, the sensitivity and the diversity of their multicultural media, their multicultural community. Wherever I go, I see evidence of this across Australia. And certainly uh, in terms of the media, the print media, the broadcasting media and the television, and it does well to recall what Professor McNamara said of the age, the length of time, that there has been the existence, albeit small, in the 1800s, but of a recognition that uh, we perhaps since time immemorial have been a multicultural society with Portuguese on the northwest area of Western Australia, Dutch coming around the top and uh, even Chinese, I think, in Chinese uh, sailors in the 15th century. So I'd like to also uh, extend, as Governor of New South Wales, a warm welcome to those visitors who I understand there are some who've come from Queensland and Victoria to share these insights and contribute to the important discussions today. Well, I believe that for many years the Australian model uh, of multiculturalism has been cited as one worthy of emulating in other parts of the world. We have a rich legacy. Newspapers in the language of origin of Italian, Greek, French and Arabic speaking communities were well established before radio and television media, in fact. And they played a significant role in providing new immigrants of those non-English speaking background communities with a greater sense of respect for their identity, encouragement for inclusiveness, and certainly a sense of security in their new land, as well as providing information from the land of their birth uh, than would otherwise have been the case. I remember that from my own school days and how important that was as the first wave of refugees came from overseas, that they weren't isolated in a, in a world of silence. Community language radio media were extended and further professionalised through the vision of the Prime Minister of the day, Gough Whitlam, and uh, he can be credited with establishing the Special Broadcasting Service Network of 2EA later uh, and 3EA in Melbourne, and certainly significant advances then followed with the establishment by Malcolm Fraser in 1975 of Channel O, later called the SBS, Special Broadcasting Service Network. And certainly the strength of all these initiatives lay in the skill and dedication of the journalists across all sectors of the media. Their courage of international, their coverage and courage in reporting international as well as national news, I believe contributed to an increasing response of responsiveness of all networks of the need for accurate and specific coverage of 
world news beyond those of the English-speaking world, that is, across all the networks, so that Australians, as they move through the 20th century, the latter part of the 20th century, and now, as we are today, a very highly informed uh, nation, thanks to you all. Major issues such as the conflicts of Southeast Asia, new patterns of immigration, the rising success of China, and Australia's realisation of its own membership of the Asia-Pacific region have impacted significantly on the emergence of wider coverage. And again, I thank you all for that. Of major importance, and of great satisfaction to the majority of Australians, I believe, has been the importance and indeed the excellence of Indigenous media in Australia. The long established Koori Mail, to which I have been a, a subscriber for many, many years, is a superb example of an extraordinarily wide coverage, relevant to communities across our vast nation, and certainly quality journalism a format designed with exemplary clarity, including an excellent section, always there, on educational institutions and pathways, and another on employment opportunities. It is obvious that in a society as complex as Australia's proud multicultural one, the ethnic media, and I quote from the conference's key motivating words, the ethnic media plays critical roles in Australian democracy. However, there is no place for complacency nor hubris. And as the visionary conveners of this conf conference have warned, there are challenges the ethnic media face in the light of converging digital technologies, as so Shaket mentioned that, and a mainstream media that too often ignores the realities of our multicultural communities. Realities such as, and I quote, racism, ageing ethnic populations, and the critical borderland between mainstream and ethnic media. These are but a few of the challenges which will be considered, I know, in your inspirational gathering today. A gathering which has brought together some of the most distinguished and indeed incisive minds in our land to advance the excellence of our multicultural media and contribute to the continuing intellectual and international well-being of our nation. And what it is to be an Australian in the 21st century, no matter where on this continent you live. So it gives me very great pleasure and a sense of humility <laughs> also to applaud greatly the conveners for their superb initiative and to declare this conference open to wish you all a most enriching experience, which I'm sure it shall be. I thank you all. Thank you.